Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully customized our um, register page. Now in this video, I want to customize our locking page as per our theme. Okay, the, like right now, there is another theme page as a um, auth locking.html. I want to replace it. So if you want to replace it, first of all, we have to find out our default one. As I told you, that is in our views and that is our auth and that is our locking. Okay, now the same procedure, I want to apply it in here, simply I copy it and then I take it in here because that will be the just like that same. And now in our locking plate, first of all, I want to go to our theme, into the theme that is our auth locking. I want to open with the sublink text editor. I simply copy everything right now from here and now in our locking page, that means in our auth locking plate here, I want to paste it. Okay, or we have to update our um, same things. We have to update that JS link. We have to update that CSS link. So right now that is the same CSS uh, that I have used in our register. From to the register, I want to done to copy it because here I have already updated that asset, right? Now that is our link. I copy it, and now in our logging into the logging page. Here I want to do to update. Great, and also I want to make, name it as a um, logging admin. Okay, I make it as a logging admin. Right now that should be fine. And that is I updated all that our CSS. I want to copy everything from our register and from to the register. If you go to that um, our all the JS file, I simply copy that JS file link because I have already updated in particular that position. So now I want to update in our logging into the locking, you can see that is the same JavaScript. So now I paste it. Great, so here our CSS and JS is updated, which is totally fine. And also there are some of the images, the images link if you want to update, then that will be the same procedure. I copy it and here that will be the asset and asset I paste it. And now I want to take it. That is a PNG, I cut it and I paste it. And also I cut it and then here I paste it. So right now friend that is actually our form right now our form that is static of the form now I want to done to update as per our default one I have already saved our default one into the default one you can see that is on the form I copy it and that is on the route as a locking CSRF token will be needed post will be a method will be as a post method now to update in our locking page that is also on the form. I want to do onto update that means here I paste it only I want to take one of the class name I cut it and here I paste that class name so right now we don't need this form I simply remove it great now our field okay here there is actually the two field if you go to our um, default one so as I told you we need that our ID we need that type and also we need that our username right there is a name now we don't want to update it so because I have already discussed about that things with you how can log in with the username so now I update that login um, like that is our input field input field type I make it as a text type which is totally fine I want to add on the ID ID will be as a username and type I have already updated and then name will be needed I copy it and then that will be as a name okay so our ID will be as a username, name will be as a username, and type will be as a text, and then placeholder will be as a username. Great. And then the password. For the password, the same procedure. We need the type, we need that name, and then ID. I simply copy it. And now in our logging, that is our password. For the password type as a password, I will add that ID. And also I need that our name. I copy it. So then that will be our name. Okay, so I simply updated that name. Great. And then that is our remember me. And then the logging and the forget password. Forget password also I want to uh, discuss about that things with you. Forget password our URL. Here we have to update that URL. You can see for the forget password request that is our or the route, default route. I want to, want to update this route. I copy it. And now in our logging, into the logging there is a forget password. Here I want to update it. Okay, so then that will be as a route password request and create an account that means that will be our register right that is also by default on other route as i told you friend everything in our route list you can see there is another default route as a register now when you don't access it then that will be redirected redir redir to our register page okay so now our register will be updated and then the locking submitted that's all okay that's all you have to do and now remember token, we don't need this remember token, I remove it, I remove this input field, okay. 
now if you click as a save i make it as a save now go to our page refresh it hmm, you can see it's now successfully updated right it's now successfully updated our logo is updated name title everything is updated successful now if you want to check it before i have already heard of the user as a test at the rate gmail.com and our username as a test so now i want to do a, do a logging with by the test that is a test and if you put the password it is a you do me you do me one two three four five now if you click as a login yeah you can see you are right now successfully logged in okay here everything is work perfectly you can see it's also now verified and now everything great mm, everything is great and now if you click as a logout so now it will be written direct to the logging page if you create as a create account you can say i have already updated that url as a register it's successfully written direct to our register page right and that is our logging page and from here if you you, you log in with the user and if for the user i name put that password one two three four five six seven eight now if you click as a login now you are successfully logged in great okay so if in you know, our next video i want to discuss about another layout i hope you get that idea how much easily we actually updated all that our page that default page that is a forget password page right so now that is one of the another page as a view as a forget password so you know if you want to change it um how can change that forget password page in here that is also another page um, like as a recovery password like that is a recovery password okay that is the auth and then recovery password dot html so that is the theme i want to customize in here how can do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video